Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to be discussing a great plugin that was recently released about a few weeks ago um, that allows you to save your page builder templates in the cloud and access them from any website that you have the plugin installed on. So let's take a look at it. So it's called Templater and from here uh, currently right now it is a free access until April 5th the, right now there it's kind of going through some beta changes and some testing to see if it's going to be worth it to keep up with and they're also trying to determine if it's going to cost anything or if it's going to remain free you can you can read all about it in their frequently asked questions at the bottom of their website and I'll go ahead and link that below in, in the uh, description but basically all you have to do is go to wptemplator.com click on the get free access from there all you have to do is just type in your information and it will go ahead and create an account for you once you go ahead and get an account you can go ahead and log in and you can go to your account settings up here and go to your downloads from there you just download the plugin navigate to your dashboard and install the plugin like you normally would Let's go ahead and upload this. Once this has gone and had installed, we can activate it. So once you install it, you'll get this activate API and you can go ahead and click this and you'll find your API key inside of your account under API keys. You can copy it and paste it. And once you've gone ahead and activate that, it'll give you a message and you can go ahead and, and close that. So right now, I have this installed on one site. So if we go over to Elementor, which is the page builder that I'm, I'm uh, using to demonstrate this, because right now Elementor is the only one that works, and Divi and Beaver Builder should be coming soon. Okay, so we are in the Elementor library. From there, I have a bunch of uh, templates that I've uh, created with the Elementor uh, page builder. All you have to do is click on export to a templater and go ahead and give this a name. So I'm gonna name this content. Uh, I'm sorry, not a name. Uh, give this a category and you can put as many categories as you want. Now you can set a screenshot image, but what I've noticed is that this um, this part of the uploading is not 100% necessary, and I'll show you why in just a little bit. So go ahead and type in some categories. I'm just gonna put content. Uh, maybe you can put restaurant as well, so you can sort that later, and then export. And in just a few seconds, it has already started to export, and it's gone ahead and started to upload to the um, the database that they collect all of the templates in and when you refresh you can get this green exported now so you can see that I've exported quite a few of them here now let's say you want to go ahead and install this on a new site and import some of your um, most used templates so all you would have to do is on the Elementor library, you would just go to import from cloud. And from there, you can see all of the different templates that you've created. And this is the reason why I said that a screenshot may not be 100% necessary, because it gives you a little bit of a preview of what it looks like. But uh, as you can see, some of it might look a little wonky, just because it's being stored on their database and it may not have some of the same CSS as you may have on the template. So it may be necessary for you to upload a screenshot, but for me, I'm um, going to stick to just leaving it like this because this is perfect for me. And you can notice that you can actually sort all of your um, templates up here. So we have the restaurant one that I just uploaded. We have login ones that I made, um, some thank you pages. Um, footers right here so there's a bunch that you can do so let's go ahead and import uh, a template and let's go ahead and import this one 
Now I already have this in my library, and so I imported it right here. So you can see it's all right there. And we can actually go ahead and um, view the template. And here it is right here, just like that. And it looks exactly the way um, it looked when I exported it. And you can see the one that I exported is right here. So it looks exactly the same. It's a great way to keep all of your templates in one location. I know a lot of people store them on their desktop or in the Google Drive or anything like that. And the issues with that is when you store them in a Google Drive, you can't get a preview of what they look like. You have to remember what they look like. Um, you have to name it a certain way just so you can remember what it is. There's no sorting by categories. Um, you don't know which one's a header, which one's a footer, unless you actually name it that way. But with the import from cloud, you have all of the sorting capability up here. You can search for templates up here as well. Um, so if you know that you're looking for a specific type or anything like that, you can go ahead and search it for it there. Um, I have been finding this tool very useful. I've installed it on all of my sites that I've used as uh, that I've used Elementor on so far, and right now it's it's great. You can export it from the library. You can also go to your pages, and you can export your entire page template to Elementor um, to the cloud as well. You don't have to actually have a plugin. I'm sorry, you don't have to actually have a template saved in the Elementor library. You can just export your entire page right here. So if I wanted to export my home page, I would just go ahead and do that. Export this. Go over to uh, my library and I can see my cloud. And then I'll be able to see my home page that I've exported here. I don't have anything there, but this is available there. Um, I know that they're updating this with a bunch of different features. Um, and like I said, it all depends on if they're going to go ahead and keep this or not. Right now, they have uh, been using this internally at Brainstorm Force, and I think it's a great plugin for them to bring to life and for us to utilize. Um, so, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys at the next one. Thank you.